My relationship with Stone Belt goes back to when I was about five or six years old. I grew up in Bloomington. And um, when I was in first grade, uh, they selected about four or five students <clears throat> at that time to uh, try out this program in connection with Stone Belt. Basically, they wanted to integrate the classroom uh, with, with kids who did not have developmental disabilities, with kids who did, to see if that would help with the learning process. So for an entire year, two, three days a week, in the morning I would go to my home classroom and then in the afternoon I'd go to the integrated classroom. When I was going to college here, I worked at Stone Belt as a DSP. And so I did that for about three and a half years, graduated, went off, did some other things. And then in 2012, a uh, position opened up as a nurse. I applied for it and got the position and so I'm back here. From a young age, our parents taught us, I have two brothers, taught us uh, one of the most important things we could do in our lives is just to provide service, regardless of what it was. From a young age, I uh, could tell that there were some people who were maybe at a disadvantage, didn't get the opportunities that other people had, treated differently, sometimes ostracized. You know, just me growing up who I am, I experienced that, so I could relate to um, to somebody's experience with that and so that's part of what kind of drawn me to this field of work. One of the things that's sorely missing in our community in the, in the, when it comes to health care is that understanding of different groups of people. A lot of times our folks will go to a walk-in clinic, ER, so forth, and just the way they're treated at times is very glaring. There's some people who treat our folks well but there's a lot who don't see them as a human being, so to speak. Maybe perhaps minimize their health concerns, issues, and so forth. And as nurses here at Stone Belt, I think one of our main jobs is to be that advocate, to, to also help teach others in the community to think a different way when it comes to people with developmental disabilities, intellectual disabilities. Talk to them as if you were talking to me. You know, don't talk around them or down to them, talk with them and to them. That's one of the biggest differences that I make here as well as the other nurses is, you know, we're advocates, we see things in a uh, different light, we can be a resource to staff. Yeah, yeah, I think I see that as our main job.